them be the judge of, you know, whether or not they want to go out and buy my products. Look at the look at that lady that was on uh uh she was on that, that one show, American Idol, in Simon's face. That that look was priceless. Where she said she was gonna get up there and sing. Now she wasn't I'm not making fun or anything, I'm just gonna say she's not she wasn't the best looking woman either, you know. But she got up there and she gave an outstanding performance. I loved her performance. It was great. You know, the thing is, they underestimated her. They had never heard anything from her. They had never seen that woman before a day in her life. But the minute she got up there and sang and they heard them words come out of her mouth, Simon's jaw just dropped and that look is priceless. Same way, basically the same point is, is what I'm saying. Nobody out there has actually heard <coughs> or read any of my words. And I think when they do, they're going to be shocked and astonished. Wow, you know, that guy wrote that. Yes, me, I wrote that. And, you know, and if you're anything like me, I'm a, chan I'm a risk taker. I take chances, I take risks, okay? Whether if it's a good risk or a bad risk, I take risks, okay? I'm not afraid to go out here and try something new. I'm not afraid to take a chance. Somebody tells me about something to go out and take their word for it and try it and see see if I like it. If I don't, then <clears throat> I don't ever have to go back and, you know, do that again. Or I don't ever have to go back and do it. I can say, well, you know, I went and got that product. I tried it. I didn't like it. Well, then, therefore, I don't have to ever buy anything from that of that product again you know what I mean but sometimes you've just got to take a chance you've got to take a risk and you know maybe that risk and that chance that you take will be a good chance maybe it won't but you never know that's like you know <clears throat> maybe there's maybe there's someone you know just a quick thing. Maybe there's someone that likes you, but you're afraid to take that chance and that risk on them because you don't think it's going to work out. But you'll never know until you take that risk or that chance. But, you know, it's so like I said, this is just my video. Something quick. Just a little bit more of insight. But I'm not, it's, I don't want people to get the image that I'm begging people to go out and buy my books. I'm not, I'm not begging. You know, I'm just putting it out there and giving you guys ideas. Because I would, I mean, I really, really would like to be discovered. I really would like to be out there and have my name all over the world for people to know that this is me. So, you know, if you'd like to go get them, check them out, get them, you know, that's fine. And you're probably going to think, well, I'm never going to know if you're going to get them, if you get them or not. I, if you get them, I will know. But I still... You know, if I'm going to do the contest thing, I still want people to give me video responses so that I can actually see that they got them. So, till next time, take care of yourself, peace, and, you know, help help out people. Hey everyone, it's a continuation of in the, Inside the Mind of Mike Spinner, Mike Spinner Legacy. Okay. Um, everybody, you know, at some point in their life, they have dreams. But, you know, I don't really call them so much dreams. I call them, like, desires, like your heart's desires. Because a dream is when you lay down at night and go to bed and you have images in your head, that is a dream. So... I would say that it's more like a heart's desire. Some people call them dreams, but, you know, that's okay. They're still dreams, if you want to call it that, but I call them heart's desires. So, okay, this video is about dreams. Okay, what actually are dreams? Where do they come from? Why do we have dreams? 
what causes dreams. Okay, how do you interpret dreams? Are my dreams going to come real? Well, okay, to start off, I feel there's three, three different ways I can say that I think of that, you know, could be a possible, <clears throat> a possible explanation for our dreams. One could just be that you have that heart's desire, that dream, to become a movie star, you know, or a basketball player, or whatever it is that, you know, you want to be, okay, and when you lay, let's say when you lay down at night and you go to bed and you have a dream of that, that you see yourself actually becoming that, you know, movie star or that basketball player, or you see, you actually see that dream and it's like vivid and it's real. Well, how I explain that is why that happens is because your subconscious shows you that because it's something that you desire, that you want so bad, <clears throat> so your subconscious goes ahead and shows you that <clears throat> but does that mean that that dream's gonna come true not necessarily it's just basically it's like your mind's playing a trick on you basically that it's satisfying your desire your need but it's satisfying it in your mind it's making you think okay I had this dream about it so is the dream actually gonna come true 